YouTube! Back in the day, Gamer here. Thanks for tuning into my channel, and today, I'm coming at you with another drunken eBay unboxing. Cheers! Mm. So, over the past month, I'm aboard, ordering some stuff online, can't go out shopping. It piled up, the wife's nagging on me to clean this mess up! So let's cut these suckers open and see what's inside. 17 packages right here. 17. I do know what a couple of them are. A lot of them have Japanese writing on them. So, they must be Famicom. Like this one, for instance. That's clearly a Famicom game. So, I can't recall any Famicom titles that I've been looking for. And I sure as hell can't read this one, but there we go. Come on, focus. We'll toss that guy in. Find out. Find out what game it is. I'm sure I was watching a Bust of Famicom video. And so, oh, hey, I never heard of that one. It's probably what happened. There's no title on it, but I'm interested. Oh, this is a Switch game. Oh, fuck hell. <laughs> Didn't even know I ordered this. And it's a good thing that I actually opened this because I've been meaning to, <laughs> to to get it the past couple of days collection of mana for the Switch. I mean, honestly, the past few days I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna order that. I'm going to order that. <laughs> it's been sitting here for God knows how long. Uh, this is an NES game. This is an NES game. The unmistakable feel. My favorite gray. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, oh, that's codename Viper. I remember watching a, watching a playthrough on this, saying, how come I don't have that one yet? Now we do. Okay. This feels like an NES and a Famicom. You know what? No, this is a drunken eBay unboxing. So, let's see, better tie one on. I'm lounging around in my velour pop pop jumpsuit. You guys watch uh, Goldbergs? Oh man, if you don't, you should. Goldbergs is such a good show. The grandpa lounges around in these. This is actually the same exact one he wears in a lot of episodes. All right, what do we got here? We got one packing nut. Well, thank you for that. This feels like three Famicom games. It does, it is. We got, okay, this one's something else. Let, let you get a look on that guy. Come on, focus, focus! So that one's separate. I like this, this has a, a screenshot on the back. You know, that's something that Nintendo cartridges never actually did, that's cool. I gotta figure out what this one is. But these two are part of a series, I remember. Ooh, they also have screenshots on the back. That's cool. I don't remember what series that is. Something about a ninja. Ooh, so we're looking at four Famicom games, an NES, and a Switch so far. All right. It's uh, this one. Okay. I don't know what this is. But by the feel of it, I know it's a toy. This is called Drunken eBay Unboxing, because at night, on a board, I get drunk and go on eBay, usually based on things that I watch on YouTube videos, or the things I end up purchasing. This clearly feels like an action figure. So I've been going down this stupid toy rabbit hole. Well, not stupid, but poor choice toy rabbit hole lately. And, uh, oh yeah! Uh, this is, uh, this is a sweet character. I think this is from Conan, the animated series. It's a sweet skull dude. It's got a rope. It talks, I guess. Or not. It's supposed to do something. I don't know. Whatever. Check it out, though. It's actually it's a cool figure. It's, uh, it's a good inch or two taller than a He-Man. We'll get some B-roll here. It's got skull kneecaps, which is pretty sweet. He's even got skull feet. It's cool, too. 
nice uh, detail on the face. And he's got a lizard living on top of his horned skull. It's pretty decent. There's a weird face grown out his back. I don't know what the hell this thing is, so... Oh, oh, there we go. We got it figured out. Here we go. Sweet. Probably paid 20 bucks for that. That was a wise choice. This feels like a CD. And I have a feeling I know what it is. Because I don't buy many CDs anymore. Unless it's something fixing to be real. It's a, it's a Nintendo game. It's not a CD at all. No cartridge, no cartridge. Got that. But uh, we got Blues Brothers for the Nintendo. One more. Yeah, we're in the... We're in the... Can you hear the... Shut up! Be quiet! Dog's ruining my drunken eBay unboxing. Um, we're, we're around 540. In the 540 area there. You know, there's... Uh, 678 licensed Nintendo games, I believe. 540. There's not many left. Last week I posted my... Uh, it's not a DIY. I mean, I did do it myself, but I built a custom, complete Nintendo shelf for the new game room. Because we're moving the game room. Um, looks pretty good. Check the video out. I'm not going to put a link in the in the comment section below. Just if you want to watch it, check it out. This is a DVD, and oh, wow! I was just saying how I wanted to watch this. Man, I would have run at this tonight for, for the price that it cost, but uh, that movie, 1917. Haven't seen it. Heard it was really good. I really don't buy many DVDs, but you know, we're locked up in the house and we're talking about renting something off the Apple TV, and it was like $24 to get. It was like, um, it's cheaper to just buy the damn DVD, so it's probably what I did, but man, I seriously, that's two things that I just would have bought twice. I wonder if there's a double in this stack here. This feels really weird. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I know what it is now. This isn't something I bought. This is a gift. This is a gift from 8-Bit Glitch, right? Yeah, sweet. It's got, oh, let me pop the sleeve off the dust sleeve. But yes, it is one of his custom NES dust sleeves from video game dust sleeves. 8-bit glitch 79. At the back, NES controller glitching out. Midwest Gaming Classic 2020. He had these made. He was going to be giving them out at the convention. But that's awesome, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, whenever I get any of these custom sleeves from a fellow tuber, I use them to hold my uh, unlicensed games. So, I don't have too many of them, but this I like this. These are sweet. Guys, video games, dust sleeves. If you're so inclined, go there. He sells all the YouTuber ones, and then he also will make your own. So yeah, do your thing, baby. I'm <clears throat> getting parched. I said this was going to be a two martini video. We're halfway through. I'm really confused on this one, too. I don't know. It's flat and fairly sturdy. There's a big mess in here. Where's my knife? Oh, yep. Yeah. What's going on? It's like a loose disc. I'm pissed. I messed up and did something like that. Oh! This is the CD I thought earlier. Damn it, and it's not even in a jewel case, but oh yeah. Led Zeppelin. This is the Royal Albert Hall 1970. Master Edition. So I was watching Bedhead 1000. If you don't watch Bedhead 1000, you have to. Uh, he was talking about this just being a fantastic concert. He went on went on a tangent, as he does in all his videos, about that particular show. And I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan. I was like, shit, you know, I don't never even heard of that one. 
It's like, so yeah, I guess drunken eBay purchase, right? <laughs> okay, I'm uh, pretty sure I know what these are. Because aside from, you know, having a little bit of a video game problem, apparently we're going down a toy rabbit hole, which I'm trying to avoid. It only happens under semi extreme blood alcohol content, but yeah. So I watch been watching a lot of catch and cooks, you know, because I like fishing. And uh yeah, it's been cold, it's getting warmer now, but it's not quite fishing season, although I have been out fishing, doing pretty well. Uh I don't know why, but I've just been watching all these catch and cook crayfish videos. And I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm doing this summer. I'm gonna uh, may, maybe not make videos necessarily, but I'm gonna go out and do a lot of crayfish catching and cooking. I mean, like I said, maybe not videos, but I'm gonna be doing crayfish catching cooks. So yeah, we got some, damn it. Damn them and their fantastic packing skills. It was a really good idea. Yeah, so, crayfish trap. Crayfish go in the hole there, both sides, and they can't get out, because they're dumb. So yeah, that's that's this box, and this box, I'm sure. Oh, oh yeah, I guess I already opened that one, or it was really shitty packed, but there we go, crayfish catching cooks. Look, look for that to be happening out on the channel soon. Okay, this feels like another toy. Now I was gonna say, we only opened one toy so far, and I know there was a night when I spent stupid money on toys. Old toys from back in the day. <laughs> okay, this is, yeah, it is. And oddly enough, it happens to be from the same series as whatever that skull guy's name is, and this is the bad guy, and it's the Conan bad guy. Yeah, buying toys. Yeah, it's a great way to spend your money. Yeah, this guy's so we'll do some B-roll here, too. He's not quite as cool as the other one, but he is beat up. He's got the pull string again. Is it the same motion as the other guy. Let's see. Ooh. I, that can't be right. That, yeah, that, that's the point of that. that. That can't be right. Whatever. Okay, this feels, this feels like a DVD, but it feels thick, like it's two DVDs. And I do recall I just said I don't buy DVDs hardly ever, but I do recall something that I had ordered. Oh man, this is like a messy shit. Oh man, that's bad. Oh, these packages are horrible. Well, I was totally wrong about that. This is a Sega Master System game, which I didn't know I purchased, and I remember last night actually watching a video saying, huh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that game ain't as cool as I thought. I'll make sure to not buy that. Battlemaster on the Sega Genesis. So I specifically remember being like, oh, yeah, I thought that game looked cooler than it is. I gotta remember not to buy that. I shouldn't let these things sit around so long. <laughs> Okay, uh, we got three things left. This one, I know what this is. Yep, it's a part of back in the day gamer's new fishing adventures. It goes with his crayfish traps. It's the Zatarans Crab Shrimp and Boil. This is what you boil the crayfish in once you catch them in the trap. It's supposed to be a, it's concentrated, it's supposed to be really good. Makes stuff taste nice, you know, pretty soon, soon enough you'll be be watching me do that. This one here, 
Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. We're going to have to fast forward this because I'm going to have to open it carefully. There's a lot of tape on it. Man, look at that. Look at they packed the shit out of this thing. Way to go. Okay, so I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah. Well, this fits right along with my stupid spending money on toy rabbit hole. It's a rotating platform for B-roll of the videos. Um, yeah, Ed's Retro Geek Out is watching one of his videos. Drunken, making me buy toys. Thanks, Ed. It's the last one, uh, a couple videos ago, had Toxic Avenger. I was like, oh yeah, so there's probably some Toxic Avenger stuff coming my way. But I noticed that he had this spinning pedestal and it made your videos look really cool, so... Gee, now I have one too. <laughs> All right, two left here. This big one. So this is, uh, this isn't an eBay purchase and it actually wasn't drunken either, I don't think. It's from uh, my buddy Corey at Mainly Gaming, formerly Maniac Gaming. Uh, he's charging some Master System things and uh, he practically gave these to me. He was like, oh yeah, man, like the price was just too cheap. So I jumped on it. Uh, he just sent it to me and he said, hey, I sent that your way and there was some goodies in it. So I'm really intrigued to see what that is. Yeah, Hump. so we got some chips here. We've got Humpty Dumpty brand. Obviously he's, what the hell is my wife doing? What are you pounding on? Humpty Dumpty brand chips. Never heard of those, but these are all dressed. So, okay, let's, kind of, let's take a better look. Look at that bag there. We've got all kinds of stuff on there. It's like salt and vinegar, ketchup, green onion, barbecue sauce, all in one chip. And we got some dill pickle ones. Once again, Humpty Dumpty brand. Never heard of that before, must be out his way. And these ones are barbecue flavored. Well, you can't ever go wrong with those, right? But cool, man, thanks, buddy. Awesome, I uh, obviously like to eat some potato chips. Who doesn't, right? Here's the, the meat of the box. One well, super thanks though. I don't want to breeze through that. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat these right now. These all dressed flavored potato chips. Let's see what's it says. Sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar, ketchup, and barbecue sauce. My mouth watering. All um smells like potato chips. Tastes a lot of barbecue. I taste what might be ketchup as well. I'm not picking up any sour cream and chive, but I'm gonna pick up some, some of the vinegar. Mm hmm. Like the ketchup and barbecue sauce stands out the most, but cool oh man. I really look forward to those dill pickle ones. I love a good dill pickle chip. But anyhow, the reason for the purchase two Master System games, Time Soldiers and Tom and Jerry the movie. This is a PAL region game only. Man, you're not gonna be able to see it, but the uh our region, NTC, right? Uh, it's got some some grit to the plastic on it. This one is super smooth. Like that's cool. Yeah, wouldn't have picked up on that. Nice. Looking forward to playing those. Love me some Master System games. Now this one here, I have absolutely no idea what it is. It's big. It's not really heavy. It's from New Jersey. I don't know. No idea. No, you know what though? We gotta. It's not a drunken eBay unboxing if we don't get at it. Ah, 
All right. One martini down. Sorry, YouTube, I failed you. It should have been two, but it's running in my mouth instead of filling it with booze. Don't worry. There's plenty more to add after this. I really have no idea what this is. It's large, so I'm super intrigued. I hope I saved the best for last, just by coincidence. What the fuck? Uh oh, yeah. Okay, well, and it's cool, but. <laughs> oh, man. Did not need to buy this. The wife is gonna be pissed. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward and get it all put together. Okay, so as I put the last two pieces on this guy, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And uh, I am kind of regretting this purchase already because it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be and it's not like I really need this. But we can tell what I had going on that day because it is once again, it's a toy and it's from the same toy line as the other two toys that came in from the Conan animated series. It's the horse from the bad guy. It also has a little... Oh, well, that's necessary. I need this. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I'll have to set it up, but it's like the, the horse that the evil guy rides up in the sky. Yeah, that was a... I remember buying that now, like, do I need this? Should I really buy this? It's a lot bigger than I thought, and there's nowhere for it to go. So yeah, um, I don't even want to look at my bank statement on how much that was, because a rather large figure that's 25, 30 years old couldn't have been cheap. And I am regretting it. I am regretting it. <laughs> but out of all this, I really only... Regret, I regret that the most, and Battlemaster game, secondly, because like I said, yesterday, I just saw, oh, hey, yeah, I better make sure I don't buy that game. So I'm just not even going to look at my bank statement. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> so there we go. That's 17 things or so that we had here. The floor is an incredible mess right now. It's literally covered in boxes and packing. So here's the... The game room, from my perspective, that's a has a whole lot of shit to clean up. <laughs> I'm gonna need another martini. I guess it's I guess it's time to to end it because there's uh no more to open. There's no more to drink. So <laughs> thanks for tuning into my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, YouTube, don't buy toys and keep it retro.